Do you find yourself growing impatient for the release of Pokemon Home with Scarlet and Violet? Fans of the game have been eagerly anticipating this release for months, but we still don't have any concrete information about this. In today's video, we're going to explore the latest rumors, discuss possible reasons for the delay, and speculate when we can expect this compatibility update to drop. So sit tight and let's get into it. Back in early 2023 on Pokemon Day, during the Pokemon Presents, the Pokemon Company officially announced that Pokemon Home compatibility with Scarlet and Violet was coming soon, or early 2023. We're now in April and we still don't have any news on when this update or compatibility will be released. And as a result of this, fans are starting to get very frustrated. Recently, a rumor has been circulating on 4chan that has stated that the release date for Pokemon Home will be coming on May the 12th. 12th, 2023. And while this rumor is yet to be confirmed by any official sources, it's still, I think, worth discussing. However, there are some big caveats to this day. The week before the 12th of May in Japan is coined as the Golden Week. So this is a week in Japan where there are a series of four day holidays back to back. And generally during this week, nothing gets announced, no work gets done and nothing comes out. So to say that we are getting the release on the 12th, you would expect an announcement the week before at the very least. So with this in mind, it would seem a little bit far-fetched. But if May 12th isn't the release date of Pokemon Home compatibility with Scarlet and Violet, when do we expect it and what is the delay? One possible reason for the delay could be the functionality issues that the games have experienced since their launch. As we know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has been played with glitches and bugs since its release date and in fact just recently we've just had the 1.2 and 1.3 updates to fix a number of issues that have been going on in the game and it's fair to say these additional updates that we have got recently could be a reason for the delay in having Pokemon Home compatibility with Scarlet and Violet and it being pushed back from that official statement of early 2023. Another reason for the delay could be the Pokemon Company's schedule for the seven star terror raid events. Maybe Pokemon and Game Freak want to distribute a number of Pokemon before Home's compatibility is launched with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to keep fans engaged with the game to get these exclusive Pokemon that are only available through these events as of yet. Once Pokemon Home comes out, of course, these Pokemon, if you've already caught them from previous generations, will be easily traded in, and these events don't carry as much hype with them as they do at the moment. So far, we have seen seven seven-star raids in-game. These include Charizard, Cinderace, Greninja, Pikachu, Decidueye, Samurott, Typhlosion, and we've just had the latest one announced for Inteleon. All these Pokemon are starter Pokemon, and from specific generations, excluding Pokemon Legends Arceus. I would say the historical Suian Pokemon starters from that game where you get the Typhlosion, the Samurott and the Decidueye kind of sit on their own so we're not including them in their base generation titles. But if we look outside of that and then take away Venusaur and Blastoise which we know the game data isn't in Scarlet and Violet 4 we can then try and summarize what remaining starter Pokemon are left for them to do events for which could indicate a first phase cycle of these seven star terror raids that then launches into Pokemon Home. Of course if we discount the Gen 1 Pokemon the Pikachu, obviously the Charizard as well because of that Venusaur and Blastoise date and not being in the game. The remaining starter sets to be complete are as follows. Rillaboom for Generation 8, we've had Cinderace and we've had Inteleon. And then Chestnut and Delphox for Generation 6 because we already have had Greninja. So this leaves us with three Pokemon to be announced based on this theory after the Inteleon 7 star raid which would then potentially lead us to getting Pokemon home. So after the Inteleon raid, the next 7 star raid that will be going live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet would be on the 12th of May. The second phase of that first one would be on the 19th. Now let's just say that is Chestnut for the sake of using one of these three remaining Pokemon based on this theory. The second day would take us to the 19th of May. The second phase would be the 26th and that could be for something like Delphox. And that would only leave one remaining date for the Rillaboom which would be the remaining Pokemon based on this theory which would start on the 2nd of June and finalize in its second phase on the 9th of June. And of course, although the order of these Pokemon could definitely change, if the next seven star raid Pokemon is one of these three Pokemon, I do feel this kind of solidifies this theory a little bit further and then would lead to potentially Pokemon Home being released around the 12th of June or the week of the 12th of June, which is, let's say, a little way away, but at least it gives us some idea of when to expect it. And of course, if this is the plan, it kind of throws out the speculation that the recent updates 1.2 and 1.3 
3 have been the reasons for the delay in Pokemon Home. And this has been Pokemon's plan all along. They want to get these starter Pokemon released before Pokemon Home is announced. However, it doesn't explain the official statement about the compatibility coming in early 2023. That's still a little bit of a question for me. Even if we got it in May, that doesn't seem like early 2023 to me. And especially if we do get compatibility in June, that's definitely more the middle of the year than any early part of it in my mind. And another possibility, of course, is that the Pokemon Company is simply taking more time to ensure a smoother transition with this update, considering all of the issues that the game have had so far they may just want it to be in a more stable position where they're confident of the release the update working as soon as it does drop and that could be the innocent explanation for the delay in the first place but it always comes back to the fact that we've had a lack of communication from the Pokemon company in regards to this. A simple statement would solve all the issues and put our minds at rest. Even if we knew we were getting it in August, we know we're getting it in August. But the fact that there has been an obvious delay with these releases does cause a lot of speculation. And I wouldn't expect this speculation to go away anytime soon. And who knows, it might be tomorrow, it might be over the weekend. We might get an update from Pokemon to say Pokemon Home's coming next week. Who knows when we we will get this update but it doesn't look or feel like we're going to be getting it anytime soon with that 1.3 update just happening last week it feels like it will be a little while away and i am taking the rumor from 4chan with a grain of salt there is a little bit of hope there of course if we do get it on the 12th of may but i just can't believe it right this minute i think that date will come and go i'm definitely leaning more towards the planned terror raid events and getting those starter pokemon out because i feel like there is a connection there with the dlcs launching later this year and of course there is the need for keeping players playing these games like we've already mentioned and having these pokemon only available through seven star terror raids at the moment does keep players more engaged in the games and more playing time which is exactly what pokemon want with their new main series titles in conclusion the delay for pokemon scarlet and violet is very very frustrating but we can only speculate as to the reasons for these delays the schedule for the seven star terror raid events is very interesting and if we see the next couple announcements for these seven star terror raids fit in with this theory we could hold out a little bit more hope on when to expect pokemon on home potentially rather than just guessing when this update will drop but i would love to hear from you all how do you feel about the delay do you have any theories about what is causing this delay let me know down in the comment section below i hope you found today's video useful if you have please drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content that we do here on the channel thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye